Um, with this experiment, we're interested in understanding more the effect of drought on plants and soils in the Mediterranean. So we have uh, Quercus silex, the holm oak, which we're growing here in the greenhouse. And we're seeing how different lengths of drought period affect this plant and the species that live in the soil below it. In particular, we're interested in the interactions between the plants and the soils, because at the moment, not much is known between the links between these two things. Uh, how many plants do you have in this experiment? Uh, in this experiment, we have 200 plants and then also 200 more pots which have soil only without the plants. This allows us to look at the effect of the drought directly on the soil. You said that you have different levels of drought. Why is this important to design this type of this experiment is very useful because we have many levels of drought which enables us to see in much more detail the effect of the water stress on the plants and we can look at the uh, exact point which the water stress becomes too much for the plants to be able to recover from. So also an important point of this experiment is that we will also look at the recovery of this uh, plants and soil system by rewatering later to see if even though the plants were affected by the drought they can recover from this and this, um, this means that we can look at the resistance of these plants uh, to this stress. Okay, so uh, when you say responses to the drought, how can we appreciate the differences between a plant which is living in a very drought site or not? So there are lots of ways that we can measure the effects of drought on the plants. Um, by looking at them you can see that the leaves start to turn brown, but we can measure this in a scientific way by looking at the chlorophyll, which is the pigment that makes them green. Um, we can measure this over time and we can look at how the plants are photosynthesizing, so how, they are, uh, how healthy they are and we can also measure uh, things about the soil so we can see how active the soil is and we can see how active the roots of the plants are so if the roots are still active um, this is obviously means that the plants have a better chance of recovery when the water returns. Okay. So this experiment will be useful to predict something in the future when climate becomes more drought, warmer well, hopefully with the results of this experiment, we can begin to understand more the level of drought which is most dangerous for this species and this habitat. So this should enable us to be much more prepared um, and to be able to prevent major damage to this Mediterranean ecosystem.